Hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about color and the remaining physical characteristics of water. For more such videos and solved examples, you can sign up on our website apsd.in. The link is given in the description. So if we talk about the color in a water body, so there can be various reasons due to which this color is present. There might be some soil which which is having some color, so it will in, impart color to the water or there can be some dissolved organic matter or some vegetation can be present some leaves may be present in the water and because of that color may be coming in the water body similarly algae can be growing in the water or some other microorganisms can be there so because of these reasons the color may be present in water now from the health point of view it may not be harmful if if it is coming from a non harmful constituent but from the psychological or aesthetic point of view color is not desirable in water so it has to be removed now if we talk about the measurement of color so these standard tubes are made that are known as nasler tubes and these nasler tubes are compared with the sample so we'll have these nasler tubes of standard intensity of color and then we compare this nasler tube with a with the water sample for which we want to find out the color so in case of these nasler tubes we make the standard color unit and this standard unit is made by taking 1 mg of platinum cobalt and it is mixed with 1 liter of distilled water so that way a standard unit of color is made so we can have different tubes by increasing the intensity here instead of 1 mg 2 mg can be there and 3 and so on and that way these different intensities of color units can be made and then we can compare it with the water sample for which we want to measure the color so for further precise measurement of color An an instrument called tintometer is used, so that again works on the same principle. We take two tubes. One will be having the color of the standard units, and then an another tube will be of the water sample for which we want to measure the color. And then from a particular place or from a hole, we check or compare the colors of these two tubes. And if it is not matching, then we replace this standard tube with another standard tube until the color of these two tubes match. So this standard unit, which is made with the help of this platinum cobalt in water, it is known as the Hazen unit. So Hazen unit is used to express the color. Now, if we talk about the permissible limit of color, so as per IS ten thousand five hundred, the permissible limit is five units. And if there is no other source of water available, then this limit is fifteen units. In general, it should be within five units. But if no other source of water is available, then this limit is fifteen units. Then the next physical parameter is taste and odor. Both of these parameters are related. So we talk about taste and odor together. So there can be again similar compounds present like dissolved organic matter or inorganic salts that may be imparting color to water. So there can be gases like hydrogen sulfide or methane, carbon dioxide, oxygen, and there can be salts like sodium chloride. I mean common salt, and then some compounds of iron can be present. Some carbonates, bicarbonates. and sulfates can be present such ions and compounds will impart taste and odor to the water so for the measurement of this taste and odor we use something called the threshold odor number so it is basically a dilution method that is initially let's say we have a sample of a ml the volume of the sample is a ml and there is taste and odor in this sample now in this sample we add more water that is distilled water will be adding in this sample or the water which does not have any taste and odor and the volume of water after which there is no detectable taste and odor present in the sample if we take the ratio here so this dilution ratio tells the 
थ्रेश होल्ड ओडर नंबर और टी ओ एन सो लेट से वी हैड इनिशियली ए एम एल ऑफ सैम्पल एंड वी एडेड बी एम एल ऑफ वॉटर ऑफ डिस्टिल वॉटर इन दिस सैम्पल सो ए प्लस बी बाई ए दिस विल गिव द थ्रेश होल्ड ओडर नंबर सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट से वी हैव अ सैम्पल ऑफ फिफ्टी एम एल एंड इट इज हैविंग टेस्ट एंड ओडर नाउ अनदर वन फिफ्टी एम एल ऑफ वॉटर इज एडेड इन दिस सैम्पल एंड आफ्टर दैट देर इज नो डिटेक्टेबल टेस्ट एंड ओडर सो थ्रेश होल्ड ओडर नंबर विल बी फिफ्टी प्लस वन फिफ्टी बाई फिफ्टी दैट इज टू हंड्रेड बाई फिफ्टी और फोर सो टी ओ एन और थ्रेश होल्ड ओडर नंबर इन दिस केस विल बी फोर नाउ नॉट ऑल द टेस्ट इन द वॉटर मे बी ऑब्जेक्शनेबल लाइक द टेस्ट दैट इज इम्पार्टेड ड्यू टू कार्बन डाई ऑक्साइड एंड ऑक्सीजन दीज आर जनरली द डिजायरेबल टेस्ट वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट द इफेक्ट ऑफ द अनडिजायरेबल टेस्ट एंड ओडर इन द वॉटर देन आफ्टर टेस्ट एंड ओडर द नेक्स्ट पैरामीटर इज टेम्परेचर सो टेम्परेचर ऑफ वॉटर कैन नॉट बी कंट्रोल बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर और क्वान्टिटी ऑफ वॉटर दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड to supply for a whole city so for that huge amount of water we cannot control the temperature but if we talk about the desirable temperature then if the temperature is about 10 degree celsius then it is highly desirable and if it is going above 25 degree celsius then it becomes objectionable because as the temperature increases the biological activities of bacteria and other microorganisms will also increase now the last physical property that we have to talk about is the specific conductivity of water specific conductivity or it is also known as the specific conductance so that is basically measuring the ability of water to conduct electricity as we know that it requires the movement of ions from one end to the other end of the circuit for this electrical conductance to take place so if we talk about the pure water so pure water is a bad conductor of water because it does not ionize and so this conductance or specific conductivity of water it is generally present in water due to the presence of salts i mean these ionic salts they are present in the water so we know salts like calcium magnesium and sulfate similarly there can be carbonate bicarbonate these ions are present in the water and because of the presence of these ions the conductivity or electric or electric conductivity is seen in the water now there is one more benefit of measuring specific conductivity that we can correlate this specific conductivity of water with the total dissolved solids so we know all these salts are providing the conductivity to water and if we can measure then we can convert this conductivity to the amount of total dissolved solids in the water so there is a relationship that exists between tds and specific conductivity in general we can say if more salts are present then conductivity will also increase so tds is proportional to the specific conductance but there is one problem in this correlation that there can be some compounds generally the organic compounds that can dissolve in water without ionizing that is some sugars can be there or even carbon dioxide is there these type of compounds can dissolve and there will be no ionization and because of that reason the tds if we measure with the help of specific conductance it will be lower than the actual tds but we can still measure an approximate value now for the measurement of this conductivity an instrument called conductivity tester is used which is a pen size instrument and it measures the amount of electricity conducted through 1 cm of water so the units 
what we'll obtain using conductivity tester i mean the units of specific conductivity it will come out as mo per centimeter mo is the unit of conductivity that is the inverse of resistance we know resistance is given as ohm so 1 upon ohm we represent with mo instead of mo sometimes siemens is also used so 1 mo is equal to 1 siemen and because the conductivity of water is very small so this value of specific conductivity it is generally given in micro mo or micro siemen per centimeter if we talk about the relation between tds and conductivity so there is this standard relation that is tds in ppm or milligram per liter it is given as conductivity times the conductivity factor and the value of this conductivity factor so this conductivity factor is just a conversion factor that is converting the conductivity that is in micro siemen per centimeter or micro mo per centimeter into the tds so the value of this conductivity factor it varies between 0.54 to 0.96 and if no other value is mentioned then a then an average value of 0.67 can be used for the calculation so that is about all the physical characteristics of water that are seen in case of water treatment. I hope you found this video useful. Please like, subscribe and share this video with your friends.